All right, it's time for some sinking city. I know. Here's my guy, looking like a fish out of water. He has no idea what's going on. Anyway, we're back. We need to do some research. Let's do it. All right. I think I need to know. I think I know what I need to do. Um, I think I need to go to the police station instead. Because, uh... It's not in the newspaper, apparently. Um, looking for people who... Did the crime. That have robbed earlier. So I need to go to the police station. Sir? Well, look who finally decided to show up. If it ain't Charles Reed, the genius to crack the case of Albert Throgmorton, Captain Caleb Lyons at your service. What can we simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes? <laughs> Thanks. You and I have a problem, officer. No, no. Aside from making everyone in the Oakmont Police Department look like idiots, let me be frank, newcomer. You ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T or dot an I, and I'll treat you like every other criminal here. Okay. Damn. Well, I got one squeaky chair. In the meantime. You can, but only because of Mr. Throgmorton's patronage. And heed me well, you're on mighty thin ice, and I'll be under it when it breaks. All right. Here we go. Perfect. Squint. Philip O'Connell. Uh, well, resident Oakmont, Mass. Northern Salvation Harbor, west of the intersection of Moreland Salvation Road. Okay. Salvation Road. Go. Anything else? Because for this, Professor Harry was kidnapped. Gonna carry a dagger to cure their golden amulet. Let's do that as well. Evidence that. I don't know. Um, go. At about 10.30 p.m. April 15th at the fish market, I apprehended a suspicious-looking infather 
as he was stalking a young woman. The suspect had in his possession a peculiarly golden, peculiar, peculiar, golden amulet which resembled a fish eye, as well as a dagger. He cried for help. Brothers from EOD. All right. Police report. Brothers from EOD. So can I not do anything else? <clears throat> Forced to release the Inns Mallory and retreat. Just do I go there? Guess I will, but not now. This is gonna be a longer episode, by the way. Just feeling some sinking city right now. I wanna play. All right, let's head to where Herbert Glover is supposed to be first. I can tell. Go. Maybe I should here. Eh, that didn't really help. My chair is just squeaky. Get up. I just straight up slash him with my shovel. Sidetracked here. Residence is unknown, but it's Sydney Stokes is supposed to live here.
west of the intersection. Okay. Wait, that's actually that direction. There we go. All right. Time for some investigation. I went for the curse. Did not even to curse. Family friendly channel. Uh, I'm happy to say I've never been hungry enough to consider eating whatever this is. Yeah, I would never eat one of those. Jeez. The price for a separate burial for your mother, Marotha Stokes, is 30 bullets. That's bright. That's steep. The more can I give you a discount. There are more requests for burials than we have resources for manpower to satisfy. You must make the payment in two weeks, or we will have your to enter your mother in a mass grave. Dang. Wait, I'm getting the whole secret. Oh. Okay. in peace. Thanks for the loot. Also, waiting for my next skill point. could cut this episode in half eventually and make it two episodes. Oh. There just won't be like a proper outro for the episode. <sighs> Looks like Squint was having a bad day. Survived getting a shot just to be stabbed to death. But who did it? Long last, I'll fix what that old ape lover Francis did to you. She got the mirror. Hark! Get away from the. Oh, thank the gods. I thought you were another uh. monster. Nice trick with the wall. How'd you manage it? It wasn't me. She put the wall there with some kind of hocus pocus. Uh. You said she put the wall here. Who is she? She, she? She's our employer. I don't know her name or anything. She, she promised us a good payout for a simple job. And I fell for it like a chump. Sydney Stokes, I presume. Aye, aye, aye that's the right, right. Do I, do I know you? Don't think so. I'm here about Herbert Glover. I believe you know him. Or, should I say, knew him. Ah, uh, okay. What did she hire you to do? Uh, the job seemed simple enough. 
go to the collector's house, grab some fancy mirror, and then hoof it out of there. So where's this fancy mirror now? She took it. When me and Phil met her with the goods, they, they got into a big bro out and she shifted him. Okay, <laughs> what am I to do now? Phil was the idea guy. I, I was... I'm just a sap. Come on, paint me a picture. What did this woman look like? She was tall and thin, very thin, just skin and bones. Me like a rattlesnake. That's all I can remember. I, I didn't look too close at her. But why? Were you hired to kill the collector too? Or was that just for laughs? I, I, I swear to okay? I it wasn't part of the plan. It was an accident. The guy started shooting at us and I panicked. You panicked? Really? That's your excuse. Oh, please, as Kay is my witness, I, I didn't mean to kill anyone. <laughs> I, I'll give you everything mm. I have. Just, just let me walk. Off to the clink with you. You killed an innocent man. Well, you've had quite a night. Break in, theft, and manslaughter. <laughs> I'm gonna have to report this. Uh, please, I, I'll, uh, I'll get the char for this. You should have thought of that before you killed a man. Exactly. Should have thought of everything. Wh what do you want? I want to see you get the chair. Oh, Ma. I killed him. What have I done? What in the world have I done? Oh yeah, he's regrets it. We gotta do more than regret it. Otherwise he'll regret not being punished for it. Oof. There's gotta be some more monsters around here. I did. Weird. So now I'm looking for this woman. Thin, old, and had a bad temper. Okay, return to Mr. Throckmorton. Alright. This old lady gets around. Can't believe that guy just let her, let her shiv him. I just got a new graphics card, and still this game just like gets me in every once in a while with those little lag spikes. I've looked into your delicate matter. Excellent. Don't spare me any details. Glover's uh, dead. Wait. <laughs> he was killed by a man named Sidney Stokes, who happened to be robbing his place. He wasn't working alone. He had a partner, Phil O'Connell. Didn't end up much better. All over uh, some kind of mirror, apparently. Truck. Their employer has it. Uh, some mystery woman. I didn't get her name, but she obviously wasn't fooling around. I see. So, my enigmatic competitor has finally shown her hand. And the thieves are both dead, you say? No, Sidney's alive. Sidney Stokes managed to make it out in one piece. Now, if I had to guess, he's probably holed up at his home. Want the address? 
I would welcome it. I'll take pleasure in uh, educating him on some, uh, shall we say, essential truths. <laughs> Dude, at the front, it, you can see his, uh, oh, it's not, when his coat is like lifted up. All right, I've held on my end of the bargain. Now, it's your turn. Of course, Mr. Reed. Here's your payment. Now that you know everything, would you accept the second part of the job? Let me guess. Yes. You want me to track down the mirror? Yes. And the one who so rudely snatched it from my grasp. Yes. I'm on it. Only got one lead, though. Our culprit had a bone to pick with someone named Francis. Mean anything to you? Ah, uh, <clears throat> yes. That is, without doubt, my father, Francis Throgmorton. K rest his soul. What's he got to do with this? I found mention of the mirror in his records. That's what led me to take interest. Your father was a prominent man. I'm sure he had enemies. Anyone come to mind? None who would outlive him. You mentioned your father left records. Mind if I take a gander at them? The prospect of you rifling through my father's possessions does not fill me with joy, Mr. Reed. <laughs> but if that's what you need, so be it. Take this key. Nice. Got another knowledge point. Alright. Should get some more carrying or pistol rounds. I think I I have that, don't I? Or bomber rounds. Don't have a shotgun yet. Where do I get a shotgun? Anyway, let's go to Th Francis's. Is it just straight up upstairs? Somewhere? Seems an ambitious expedition. Huh? Like father, like son. Yes. The unknown Africa. Curious craftsmanship. This must be worth a fortune. I'm looking sharp, but I guess that's the point. <laughs> what? 1891 must have been a busy year for Francis. Divorce is no simple matter these days. It has never been in my legal practice. You must clearly define the fault you shall present it to the court. The most common options being cruelty, adultery, or an incurable mental illness. It is my impression that your firstborn's death at the tender age of seven dealt a blow to Bethany's health. I do sincere and sincerely hope she recovers, but the court won't share my concerns. Besides, Oakmont Asylum seems to be a very well-run place. God's Chauncey. Now, that kid looks a little familiar. Huh. Huh, curious craftsmanship. This must be worth a fortune. 
Is that it? Eighteen ninety one must have been a busy year for Francis. Didn't really say all evidence collected, but that was about it. some questions about Bethany. I beg your pardon? I don't believe I know anyone of that name. Well, well it came up during the investigation. Jesus, why is it? Do See, your father divorced, and his ex-wife's name was Bethany. Say no more. It is beyond my earliest memories. But, even if it weren't, my father's business is his own. I shall not engage in gossip. Your father led an expedition back in 1891. Do you know anything about it? I'm not the best person to ask, I'm afraid. I was a babe in arms back then, and my father <laughs> never made his findings public. It is a great shame, of course. His work would have turned the science of evolution on its head. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> have a good day. I don't know how to really fix this whole weird problem. I guess I don't care for some of this stuff. As long as the game runs a little better, it's nice. All right. Okay. What's the next thing? Left half of a torn photograph. They say Oakmont Asylum. Do they know more at the asylum? Probably have a file on Bethany there. Alright, I'll split it in half. I'm gonna end one of the episodes here. If I figure out how to do that. Now, let's go. Solid bar trays.
has exited the game, but not really.